they were decent, but not good enough for a record. Aki would finish with a 15-28, 4 seconds behind Zaya, but a few months later, he'd have another shot at it. 4 seconds ahead of his last run, he once again needed good BLJs. This time, it was good enough. A 15-22, beating Zaya by 2 seconds and making Aki the new record holder. <laughs> but a few days later, it was Ouija's turn. I did it! I did it! <sighs> it's over! I did it, man. I did it. I did it. I did it. This was the first ever sub-1520 in 16-star history. One new trick he and Aki were using was in Wop's Fortress where he used a new setup for cannonless called Texture Setup that had been theorized years prior by Snowman. Instead of using Sock Folder's long setup, Luigi just lined up Mario's feet with a texture in the side of the plank and went for it. It wasn't as consistent as the normal setup, but it was faster, and still more consistent than no setup at all. Compromises like this had to be made now that the remaining time saves were disappearing. He gained some time over Aki with a cleaner lethal lava land, but lost some in Bowser in the Fire Sea. His BLJs were excellent, but he had a slight mistake at the end of Bowser in the Sky. Although the run had some downfalls, it was still a record by 5 seconds. Not to be outdone, Aki would fire back 6 months later with a 15-16. He messed up the triple jump in Hazy Maze Cave, and his Fire Sea had a slow ending. He made up the time over Ouija, however, with a faster MIPS grab while standing, and cleaning up his mistake in Bowser in the Sky. He also threw Bowser a bit faster each time, saving a fraction of a second per throw. At this point, when the record was lowered, it was typically only by a second or maybe a few seconds at most. When records get as precise as 16 star, where players have done tens of thousands of runs each, Taking time off in big chunks was pretty much out of the question. But incredibly, just three weeks after his 1516, Aki was in position to do just that. As always, it came down to the BLJs. No pressure. This was it, an unbelievable chance to make history. He just had to make it through Bowser in the Sky, hit all three of the throws, and he'd be golden. A 15.08 was the largest cut off the record in more than three and a half years. 
a near perfect run from start to finish. The mistakes in Hazy Maze Cave and Fire Sea were cleaned up, and his movement overall was optimized for time saves too. As you'd expect, this run stayed at the top of the leaderboard for a long time. Six months later, it was still in first. Second place was 8 seconds behind. Nobody was getting close to it. To have a realistic chance at beating this, you'd need new strats. The old ones had just about completely been optimized. As good as Aki was, it would help to change his approach if he wanted to take the record under 1508. So, as 2019 came around, he looked into what else he could do to save time. First, there was Candleless. Texture's setup was great, but it lost a few seconds over just running at the wall and praying. So, Aki decided that he needed to give up the consistency of the setup and go back to normal Candleless. The same awful, brutal trick that killed two thirds of all runs years prior. This was obviously a really tough move, but the run was getting so optimized that it was worth it. Second, Aki went for a faster setup for Pillarless. Developed by Tama, you would do the jump dive on the hill instead of going over the top. This enabled you to get hands free quicker, and allow the trick to begin sooner than before. With these setups in mind, Aki kept doing attempts. On May 10th, the new time saves helped him be 6 seconds ahead of the record early. He would bleed some of this time in Fire Sea but good BLJs kept him well ahead. Three Bowser throws later, Aki had done it again. Incredibly, this record put Aki 12 seconds ahead of anyone else on the leaderboard. And he didn't stop there. He kept doing attempts for a lower record. He even had paces multiple seconds ahead of the 1504, but every time, something would kill it. But in late 2019, Aki would finally get some competition at the top of the leaderboard. And this particular runner certainly had credentials. He was both the zero star and 